Hi, I'm in Philadelphia and honestly the only purpose that I brought this camera with me was so that I could vlog but honestly I'm too heated to honestly even think about filming a vlog of me exploring a new city because of what I just found out. I really just felt that there's really no other way for me to deal with this rage that I'm dealing with right now currently other than making a video. Like probably many of you, um, the other day on Instagram I saw that Rebel Wilson had put up a picture with her girlfriend and it was a cute caption, you know, hashtag love is love. I had no idea that Rebel Wilson was in the LGBTQ community, obviously super happy for her. Initially when I saw the photo I had no context other than the fact that she was choosing to share this part of her life with us. When you see somebody come out, the general feeling that I get is happy, right? It's it's nice to see someone else be invisible. It's great that they felt like they were in a space where they were confident enough to come out and, you know, share that with the world. It's a huge deal, especially, especially if you're a celebrity, because so much of your personal life, for some reason, is just thrown into the public eye, as if once you become a celebrity, suddenly you you lose the privilege of having a private life. I, I have a huge issue with it to begin with, but it was only today when I learned the context of that coming out. And frankly, it has made me really angry. I felt like I really need to make this video. I had a different video filmed for this week. It was ready to go, it was all edited, but I literally, I don't know, know any other way to deal with this other than make a video about it. I'm speechless, I, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna run into the context of this in case, in case you haven't seen it. And then I'm gonna discuss rather angrily, probably, but context first. So it turns out <clears throat> that Rebel Wilson's coming out. She essentially did not get much of a choice. She was essentially forced into coming out and Kind of explain that to you. I'm going to read you a tweet. In case you're wondering how Pride Month is going, the Sydney Morning Herald got in touch with Rebel Wilson to say they'd be outing her in the next few days. So when Rebel came out herself, the journalists are throwing a tantrum that she robbed them of an exclusive. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I read that, not fully, not fully taking that on board, not fully believing what I'm reading. I thought, <clears throat> maybe this is an exaggeration. Maybe this is... Like the situation is slightly skewed. Honestly, come to find out it really was worse <laughs> than what this even conveys. So this article was published on June 11th and the article, and I want you to hear that name. So I want you to remember if you ever see it anywhere, just block, report, downvote, whatever you want to do. The man, because of course, of course it was a man. The man that is credited with this article. Good God, if this was an article that was coming out, I would never want to be even associated with it. So. Honestly, fair play to you for having the balls to be attached to this fucking shit show. His name is Andrew Hornery. Just so you know, remember that name. That man is a fucking shithead. I'm so angry. So this is an opinion piece. Shitty opinion, if you ask me. But the article is called Rebel Starts Spreading the News of Relationship. Coming out, Rebel style. He says, in a perfect world, outing? Why is outing in inverted commas? Outing is not a fictional concept. It is not something that we joke about. Outing, why? It exists, it's a thing. Outing is an actual real problem. I don't, I don't, what's not clicking for people? I don't understand what's not clicking for people. The fact is that there are still so many places in the world, there's still so many countries, so many cities, so many places in the world where you, in the ex most extreme cases, you can be killed. And listen to me, I'm preaching to the choir here, but listen to me when I say that. You can be killed, you can lose your life over the fact that you are LGBT. I don't understand where this man gets the absolute goal to put outing in inverted commas. That is a, a real issue. Many people lose lives because they are outed. People lose their livelihoods, people lose their careers, people lose their close family members, people lose so much shit still. Still, nowadays, in 2022, because they get outed. So when you put fucking outing in inverted commas, it is an issue. In a perfect world, outing 
Same-sex celebrity relationships should be a redundant concept in 2022. Love is love, right? We can agree right there. And guess what? If you'd stop the article there, maybe remove the inverted commas. Good, great. Don't mention Rebel's name, just put that as the article. In a perfect world, outing same-sex celebrity relationships is redundant. Actually, just outing any, any relationships that are in public is redundant and should not be a thing. As Rebel Wilson knows, we do not live in a perfect world. Here's, here's strike five fucking thousand. Who, who talks like that? As Rebel Wilson knows, we do not live in a perfect world. Yeah, guess what? You know what? I'm pretty sure that Rebel Wilson is aware of that because clearly she's part of the LGBT community and you have forced her into outing herself. Yeah, I think she very much fucking realizes that we do not live in a perfect world in which she could perhaps enjoy her own relationship in the privacy of her own life. It was with an abundance of caution and respect that this media outlet emailed Rebel Wilson's representatives on Thursday morning, giving her, giving her two days to comment on her new relationship with LA leisure wear designer Ramona Agruma before publishing a single word. First of all, congratulations to Rebel. Congratulating her on her coming out feels wrong because it was forced. She was forced into a corner and she had no other option if she wanted to remain in charge of her own narrative and her own life. I still wanna say congratulations in a way of, congratulations for the relationship and congratulations for taking the reins and taking charge of your own narrative. Though this is congratulations with a big fat asterisk that says, I am so sorry that you were forced into this situation. You should never, never have had been put in this position. Nobody should. So this paragraph, this, this weird, weird martyrdom light, where this man is trying to be like, we were gracious enough to give Rebel Wilson two days, two days, so that she can provide us an exclusive comment about her relationship that we are about to out against her wishes. I cannot understand the mental gymnastics that this man must have done to come, to envision this situation as this paragraph, as this publication somehow having an abundance of caution and respect, respect? Respect looks like you knowing where the line is. Respect is you knowing the boundary of what is okay and is not okay to share. Respect is finding this information out and having the grace to understand that it is not your place to leak this information anywhere. That would be respect. An abundance of caution and respect is not you reaching out to try and get a juicy exclusive comment on someone's private same-sex relationship. Big mistake, he says. I wonder why he thinks it's a big mistake. Perhaps, perhaps he's done some looking inwards. Perhaps he's done some introspection and he's realized what a fucking idiot and moron he is for thinking that giving somebody a deadline of two days before they're outed to the world at large as, as a celebrity who is in the LGBT community is inappropriate. Do you think that that was the mistake? Because if you are, you're really freaking wrong. That was not the mistake. So let's find out what the mistake was. Wilson opted to gazump the story, posting about her new Disney princess on Instagram early Friday morning, the same platform she had previously used to brag about her handsome ex-boyfriend, wealthy American beer baron, Jacob Bush. There is so many things in that paragraph that are wrong. I could write a dissertation. First of all, Andrew, Please tell me, where in that brain of yours does it feel like a person sharing a private detail about their own life, especially something as private as their romantic relationship, and sharing that on their own terms, within the two days that you gave them, on their own channels, in what world would that situation ever translate 
to her gazumping a fucking story. Somebody needs to sit him down, grab his face, and just, Andrew, look at me. A celebrity's life is not inherently public. If somebody did this to you, followed you around, gathered all the information about your life that you wish to remain private, and then gave you two days to give you a comment about them, or else you're gonna publish an article. Like, how does one convey the gravity of this to someone who is living in the year 2022 and still does not grasp this concept? The fact that this was so inappropriate. To read him right, that she has desumed the story is truly unimaginable to me. Andrew, I need you to open your ears and listen to the words I'm saying. It's her relationship. How can she hijack something that's hers to share to begin with? Second of all, I don't understand why this comment was actually even necessary in any way, shape or form, where he says, the same platform she had previously used to brag about her handsome ex-boyfriend, wealthy American beer baron Jacob Bush. Why is Mr. Jacob Bush relevant currently right now? And why do we use the word brag? Clearly, in the past, she had chosen, as she has the right to do, to share her previous relationship. Why does that need to be mentioned in such a way? Because that very much feels like, well, if she shared that, if she shared about her ex-boyfriend, why wouldn't she share about her girlfriend? Because nobody, not even a celebrity, owes you the explanation of who they are dating. That is why any celebrity, whether they're dating a man or a woman, whether they're LGBT or straight, does not owe the general public the information on who they're dating. I know, wild, radical idea. Celebrities have so many eyes on them at all times. I'm sure that we all understand that romantic relationships are difficult as it is. Now, imagine if you're a celebrity and you now have the added pressure of millions of people and paparazzi constantly looking at you and watching your every move. Like, that's stressful. Now imagine bringing a new partner into that situation, okay? I think, any healthy relationship in those circumstances needs to start off as private because you do not need millions of people weighing in on a relationship that they know nothing about. So if Rebel Wilson was currently dating a man that she also chose not to share with the world, that would be within her right. And in fact, she was also very much within her right not to share that she's dating a woman. Unfortunately, that choice was taken away from her thanks to you and your shitty publication. Anybody who sees it fit to leak it or try and make a sensational exclusive story out of it is a piece of shit. She even had her bestie, the actor Hugh Sheridan, do a radio interview on Breakfast FM on Friday morning during which he gloated about introducing the women to each other six months ago. Apparently they had hit it off pretty much immediately but had kept the relationship under wraps. If that genuinely is Rebel Wilson's best friend, I'm presuming that this person got clearance from Rebel to share this comment. And guess what? You didn't. It gets worse. Can you believe it gets worse? Considering how bitterly Wilson had complained about poor journalism standards when she successfully sued Women's Day for defamation, her choice to ignore our discreet, genuine, and honest queries was, in our view, underwhelming. Was it? Was it, Andrew? Were you underwhelmed? I'm so confused about this weird entitlement. You didn't give her a choice. Her choice was she either gets outed or she controls the narrative. Which choice would you have made, Andrew? Would you have allowed a newspaper to leak a really personal part of your life? Or given the chance, would you have decided to just share it yourself? Of course, who anyone dates is their business, but Wilson happily fed such prurient interest when she had a hunky boyfriend on her arm. Does this man understand that not every relationship is the same? Not every friendship is the same, not every relationship is the same. As humans, we're not robots. It's not apples to apples comparisons. That's not how things work. If she was dating a man and she just was not comfortable sharing that relationship, she would still be perfectly within her right to choose not to share it. Guess what also? Rebel is not the only person in that relationship. So perhaps maybe it was her girlfriend that said, I'm not comfortable being public. I would rather not have millions of eyes on us. Is it okay if we keep this private? Did you think about that? Did you think about that for a second? Because frankly, I don't think so. This is understood 
to be Wilson's first same-sex relationship. How do you know that? Is it yours to speculate on? Why is this relevant? And then it goes, at age 42. Why is that relevant? In an era where same-sex marriage is legal in many parts of the world, and thanks to decades of battling for equality, sexual orientation is not, <laughs> is not longer something to be hidden, even in Hollywood. Andrew, I really truly wish that you would resign and just go live in solitude somewhere where you can learn about these things because that perhaps was the most ignorant sentence I have read so far. Sexuality is not something to be hidden. I've already touched on this. There are many parts of the world where you can still be killed, assaulted, lose your job. You can lose so much, literally your entire livelihood in many places around the world. And there's places where in theory, in theory, it's not illegal. Where in theory, it's legal to be homosexual, those places exist, and guess what? In practice, homophobic attacks still happen very much, a lot. There are LGBT men and women out there that when they're walking around outside anywhere, they feel like they need to put up a persona. They feel like they, have to, they need to change the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they walk, like the way they gesture, because they feel like if they get clocked at any moment's notice, they could get assaulted. And you know what the worst part is? You never know where the assault could come from. It's unlikely she would have experienced the sort of discrimination, let alone homophobia. That sadly still affects so many gay lesbians in a hot. I'm gonna finish it here. I think I've touched on everything. The Sydney Morning Herald is a piece of shit. In 1978, they wrote a list of the protesters or the Mardi Gras, and there was like 50 plus something protesters that got arrested. They wrote a list of their names, addresses, and occupations. Those people, a lot of them lost their livelihoods because of that. The Sydney Morning Herald is a piece of shit and has been for a long time. So, not surprised. Well, actually, I am surprised that this has come out. I'm honestly disgusted. This is fucking crazy. Don't ever out anybody. Ever. Unless someone has explicitly said to you, I don't mind you sharing this with other people. Never, ever, ever, ever share anybody's LGBT status. Do not ever out anybody. That is a horrible thing to do. It is not your thing to share with anybody. I can't stress this enough. Don't out people, okay? That is still a very dangerous thing to do in today's world. Thank you. That is all. I just need to rant. I need to get this off my chest because it's... It, it like it got me so heated and it was driving me insane. I'm just I'm very angry I'm really angry about the situation and this was the best way that I thought that I could just get these emotions out So Andrew, I hope that you feel really shit about this situation And I hope you get all the backlash that this deserves and Rebel Wilson again congrats and I'm So fucking sorry that this is the, the cards that you were dealt in regards to this and I hope you're okay Thank you guys for watching. I hope you never have to face these kind of situations and I am here for you of course. Yeah, happy Pride, appreciate you, love you, and I hope you guys are staying safe and celebrating this month. <laughs>